Today's scripture comes from Romans chapter 12, 1 and 2, and 2 Corinthians chapter 3, 17 through 18. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we who with, and he, and we, who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory, are being transformed into his likeness with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. This is the word of God for the people of God. Be to God. Please be seated. Maybe you can't get that song out of your mind, What's Love Got to Do With It, by Tina Turner. Uh, uh, I tell you, I can still hear her singing with all her might, what's love got to do with it. And I'm here to tell you on Easter Sunday, love has everything to do with life. And then um, today, our sermon is about what's a butterfly got to do with it. What? What's the butterfly about? What's the butterfly got to do with the resurrection of Jesus Christ? I, I, I want to thank Jim Foster. I've been, I've been doing sermons on each of the uh, images um, in the stained glass window, and Jim gave me a pointer. <laughs> Look at that. Right here. Right, 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 right there is the butterfly. It's the same one you have in your bulletin here. And I think there's no metaphor in creation for resurrection and transformation quite like the butterfly. You can look in the Bible all day long and you will never find a butterfly in the concordance. That's a bummer. There should be a butterfly. And I even know what passage it should be in. It should be in the Sermon on the Mount. And it, it says, don't worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food and the body more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They don't sow or reap or store away in barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? Or why do you worry about clothes? See how the lilies of the field grow? They do not labor or spin. I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like these. And here's what should be next. Have you noticed the carefree butterflies among the field flowers? They're both beautiful and fragile. And yet they are confident in the care of their heavenly father. By the way, that last part's blasphemy. <laughs> You're not supposed to add anything. But in the spirit of the image of the butterfly, it is pretty, pretty amazing. I want to share with you a few facts about butterflies. Now, I have just transitioned from pastor... Now I've got to look up how to say it. To entomologist. That is, is, that is a scholar in insects. And I want you to know that, uh, uh, that there is a natural process from becoming a butterfly. Uh, you have to begin as a caterpillar. Look at my artistic ability. No, a six-year-old did not do this. I did it myself. We all begin life as a caterpillar. And, and if you told the caterpillar, someday you're going to fly, the caterpillar could get up on the biggest rock and jump, and all it would do is fall down. How in the world can I fly? A caterpillar is truly an earthbound creature. It is 
It thinks of one thing only. By the way, I like caterpillars. Do you know what caterpillars do? They munch. That's all they do. They don't do anything other than munch. They munch. And if there's enough of them, they can be like locusts, man. They can ruin a forest. Caterpillars are consumers. They just take and take and take and take. And do you know what? They change. Caterpillars begin as little worms. And they become bigger worms. They become more and maybe they become better. But at the end of the day, they were not designed forever and forever only to munch. Do you know what? I'm not calling you horrible or, or evil or anything, but I'm saying in the natural world, all we think about pretty much is how does this affect me? And am I going to have enough? I want more. That's natural. But God has not created us to be caterpillars forever. I told you that butterfly is not in the Bible. Guess what is in the Bible? The process by which a low earthly caterpillar becomes transformed. Judy read two verses about being transformed. If you think about your life, and how you feel so anchored to this earth, and how you long to fly and be free and to be colorful and to be beautiful and to be productive, but you don't know how you're going to do it. I want you to know God has a process for that, and it's called transformation. The word transformation is metamorphosis. Oh, my entomologist says, oh, metamorphosis. That's all about becoming. Now, if you look at this, this is called a pupa or a chrysalis or a cocoon right here. That butterfly, it gets up on a limb and it crawls over to the edge and it gets sometimes under a leaf or sometimes under the twig and it's a little sticky and it sticks itself to the bottom, not the top, the bottom. And then it begins spinning from its own self this silky encasement. It looks like a tomb. It looks like death. It looks like a catacomb. It looks like a crypt. And you look at that and you say, that butterfly is passive. There's nothing going on there. It's the cocoon is where nothing is happening. I don't know if you feel like nothing's happening. You want to be changed. You want to be different. But there's nothing happening. All you feel like is this is death. This is no good. There's no, I can't be different. It's just, it's just, well, you know what? This is where transformation occurs. Right here. This is it. Okay. There's this book. It's called Nothing is Wasted by Joe, Joseph Bentz. How God redeems things. And he uses all kinds of natural things um, to talk about how God uses Dirt, seeds, and one whole chapter is on, the, uh, on um, being boiled down to the essential goo. I never knew this. Do you know if you were to open up this sack, this butterfly pupa, and you just cut it open, what would come out? Snot. It looks like snot. There are not pieces. 
All there is is goo. Nothing that looks like the, butter, the, the, the caterpillar and nothing that looks like the butterfly. It is just liquid goo with all kinds of enzymes and hormones and cells. And those cells are amazing. I can't believe. Well, wouldn't you think that, that, that the caterpillar would just sort of pop out these things? No, the caterpillar has to be totally, totally destroyed, creatively destroyed in order for something new to be born. It's the most amazing scientific thing. It really is. Now, I love it when God changes me. I say, God, change me a little and keep me the same. (laughs) Take away the pain, but let me be me. That's not the way God does it. I'm sorry, there's no half-flying caterpillars. They're not half done. It doesn't work that way. Because God doesn't want me to be more and better. God wants me to be new and different. And this becoming looks a lot like death. He says, whoever will follow me, it's like die to yourself. Your old familiar ways that aren't working. Leave it behind. Let it go. Become. By the way, all a caterpillar does is sits here doing nothing other than saying, okay, okay, okay. By the way, you know how you get goo? The caterpillar digests itself. Yeah, yes. What are you having for dinner? (laughs) Here's the best one. I'm proud of this one. I'm proud. Look at that. Hey, hey, Travis, you're not the only one that can draw. Hey, look at that. This is God's future. Intention and design for you. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be transformed so that what Jesus looks like You resemble life, flight. By the way, butterflies not only add natural beauty to a garden, they not only go where the habitat is healthy, they pollinate flowers and things, living things. And they leave the world better Then they found it with grace and ease and elegance. You might say, oh God, I know how to be a caterpillar. I can't be a butterfly. God says, I'm not asking you to transform yourself. I'm saying... This is what I do. I'm the creator. I'm the redeemer. I'm the restorer. I'm the reviver. I'm the one who brings life and flight and beauty and usefulness and productivity into your life. How wonderful this is. By the way, I want to share one last little tidbit. There's a lady. I don't kind of try to find her name. Pretty cool. Her name is Molly Weber. And in her Black Box report... She wondered if butterflies would have any memory of being a caterpillar or not. Do you know what she did? She took these butterflies, or these caterpillars, and she would expose them to a specific smell, and every time they were subjected to that smell, she'd zap them. 
Now, I don't know what you think of that, <laughs> but that's another thing. And then those butterflies, or those, those caterpillars, went into their tombs, and when they came out, by the way, never help a butterfly come out of their cocoon. Because if you want to be helpful, and you slit it so that you make it easier for them, their wings do not develop. They're, they they're develop by fighting themselves out of the cocoon. And you can't do it for them. But when they were butterflies, she would subject them to that same smell without the zap. And they hated it. Somehow or another, in God's vast creative abilities, that caterpillar has somewhat the same personhood, memory, or identity as before. And yet living 100% free. I invite you to stand up and realize we're talking resurrection here. We're talking that Jesus wants you to rise above be free, fly, and make a difference. Would you join me in the benediction from Ephesians chapter 3? Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to the power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen.